We're here with the referee's elite performance manager, Tony Archer. Tony, in season 2015, the NRL hasn't made any rule changes, but there has been a change to one of the interpretations. Can you run through that? Yeah, that's right. Um, uniquely this year, the NRL uh, has not changed any of the rules. There's one small change to the interpretation. It relates to players releasing uh, after the tackle is complete simultaneously. So what does that actually mean? What, how is that going to affect the game? Yeah, um, previously uh, players have been allowed to release in a two-stage process. From this season on, once the tackle is complete, the referee has spoken to the ruck. Uh, the requirement is that all the defenders release together. And the aim of, of this new interpretation? The, a the aim is to allow some continuity around the play of the ball and some uh, freedom of the person in possession to play the ball. And um, does that mean we're going to see some more penalties earlier on in the season while obviously we're adjusting? Yeah, it's a requirement. Look, we've visited over, uh, had over 70 club visits this year uh, since January and um, we've worked really hard with the clubs to ensure that they understand the interpretation of this rule. Um, I'm hopeful that the, the, the clubs will be able to comply. If they don't and they don't comply, well obviously the requirement is for the referee to, uh, to blow penalties. And in training the referees, you've had a wrestling coach on board. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, we've brought on board a wrestling coach. The requirement for that is to allow us to be better educated and better informed in relation to the tactics used. Yeah. Apart from the change to the interpretation, what have been some of the other key focuses for the referees? Yeah, after we analysed last year, we identified that within the group of people as the team that goes out on the field to officiate, we need a leader. And um, we had it in an internal leader last year, but clearly the person now who's the lead referee will referee uh, a minimum of 80% of the game. They'll be in control for over 80% of the game. What did you look at last year that needed to be improved on and, and how did you adjust for this coming season? Yeah, for this year, we obviously looked at that which I've just spoken about in relation to the lead referee. I think every group of people, every team of people who are officiating need a leader. And uh, we want the, uh, uh, the lead referee to be making the majority of the decisions in the game. That leads to us being more accurate and more consistent in our decision making. John Buchanan and Bob Fulton came on board as well uh, for this season. Tell us what sort of impact they've had. Yeah, they've had a wonderful impact with us. Uh, it's really about us pushing ourselves to the next level and, uh, and being in a position to um, become a high performance unit. Um, the use of uh, Bob and John, they've been instrumental to, uh, to, to me as a leader and, and the manager of the group. They're looking at uh, uh, pathways about the development of referees and also the NRL squad currently and how we improve their performance. What do you think the biggest challenge is gonna be this year? Oh, the biggest challenge for us is that we have to be uh, consistent over the, the whole competition. It goes for 31 weeks. Uh, uniquely for the referees, they're in a highly scrutinised position. Um, and obviously the closeness of the competition puts more pressure on the referees. But I'm confident uh, with the work we've done in the pre-season and, and the fact that we're moving to this team leaders uh, model that uh, uh, we'll be up to the challenge. Has um, dealing with the scrutiny been obviously a topic that you've, you've spoken about and, and been able to address how you're going to deal with that scrutiny this year? Yeah, uh, um, it, it's quite obvious that uh, all referees are under a level of scrutiny. The game is under a level of scrutiny and so are the players. Uh, the opportunity that it creates for us is that we can improve our performance quickly because we see everything that a referee does on the field, we also hear what he says. So in those circumstances, we are able to improve our performance quicker and uh, that's something that we, we use to our success. You had an opportunity today to just talk to the media, talk through those um, different changes. Uh, how was that received? Yeah, I think, uh, I think the media are quite open to, uh, to us looking to improve. Everyone wants uh, the, the standard of officiating to improve and so do I. Um, uh, we need to be transparent in how we go about that and uh, the more transparent we are, the greater the people have a, the understanding of what we do. I think the appreciation of the good job that the referees do will be realised.